Hello, um, this is workshop number three and uh, as you can see I've slightly changed things. I've, uh, this is a table with my little homage to uh, David Hockney that I did with an old desk a while ago um, but it gives me more surface to work with as well. So what you need today is a piece of paper, the thickest possible ideally, a piece of paper and some coffee, some very strong coffee or tea, but uh, if it's coffee, say three or four teaspoonfuls, uh, tea bags, maybe two or three tea bags if you want to do that. And that is all you need at the moment. The rest is luck. So what you do now is you just pour on to the surface. And this table is probably not level, so it's doing it for me. So I'm just going to, don't go crazy. Uh, I'm gonna stop at that point. And I'm now going to very gently move the coffee around. And you're looking at things happening, maybe shapes you think, okay, I'm going to go up there. And now I might get the end of a pencil and think, okay, I'm going to sort of drag the coffee maybe up to something like that. You can make a nice little shape. And it's, it's really one of those exercises. I discovered this uh, on, I think it was YouTube some years ago, an artist who does the most beautiful stuff. And I've used it in lessons at times as a nice little exercise. And I'm going to sort of leave, oh yeah, I think I might leave that. I might run it down there just a fraction. Um, and I'll just leave that as is at the moment. Now, I'll put that to one side because I just put that gently down there. And I've got one, here's one I did earlier. Um, I did this this morning, that's nice and dry. And you can see how it's dried and you get all these different stains. And when I started to look at it, I, I saw things, I, for some reason, the way I saw it, I saw a sort of some sort of horse's head or unicorn or something like that, uh, maybe two legs, uh, and over here could be a figure, um, but it doesn't have to be, it could be anything, anything you want it to be. The next stage is one of these, a, a marker fine liner pen, um, ideally not a biro, a fine liner pen is better, and then you just basically enjoy and, in, and, and just start creating patterns so it's a, it's a sort of a doodling exercise and I'll just show you. So I think I'm going to put some sort of horn onto that. And you can do cross hatching and hatching. Cross hatching, so if I do say here, I do these curves here and then I cross over, that is cross hatching. And wonderful thing about this is that you can just go back to it any time you like and just do, uh, just play with it and just sort of build it up and it'll change as you, as you build it up. And this, the size of this one, uh, I could spend days building, building this up. Uh, this, that's the beginning of a, of a, um, some sort of horn, but over here I thought, well, I'll have a feature of an eye, so I've just lightly sketched that in, but you don't need to sketch in first. I think, in a way, it's nice just to sort of see, okay, let's see what happens. And uh, so it's like those very popular colouring in books that, um, you know, are really, really good for relaxation and, and so on. It's a, it's a sort of similar exercise to that. Um, and like I say, very easy to do, but uh, and just let your imagination run away, with, run away with yourself, as it were. So that's a little workshop today, coffee art or tea art. Um, enjoy. See you soon.